My dad was an electrician, so skilled trades, so I grew up around it and it was something that I always wanted to pursue. I got out of the military in 2017 and ended up going to school. Uh, I went to school for a few things before I found HVAC. I uh, figured that was what I really liked. The biggest thing would probably be the, is the amount of hands-on. So you're actually doing it there. You're not just learning about it in a classroom. Uh, you go down almost every day and actually get to see what you're going to come across in the field. They had a lot of stuff set up there to actually go through the problem solving and figure out what's wrong. All the instructors seemed like they were very experienced, 15, 20, 30 years in the field. Um, we kind of passed that on to us. I got hired in here uh, when I first started school. So I was working here from 8 to about 4.30 and then going to school from about 5 to 11. So the transition was easy. I kind of saw what was going on at school and then I actually got to experience it in the field. Typical day on the job, I get a work call uh, the night before and then go where I'm heading and just diagnosing and trying to repair units. The biggest advice I would give is you get what you put into it. So. Um, actually put in the work and, and try and you'll make it. Qualities that would make someone successful in this career would definitely be hard working, uh, good work ethic, uh, being able to continue education on it as well. Favorite part about working here would just be uh, that it changes every day. You know, you know, it's never the same thing. It's not repetitive. 